you know, life just went, came along. Of course, I have those aches and pains, but um, I don't brag about it. I enjoy now. My name is Alma Faye Vic Hargrove. I was born 10 miles out of Terrell, Texas on August 24th, 1919. My parents were Laura Crawford and Josh J.J. Vick. They were farmers. We were just ordinary people. When I was five, my daddy thought he wanted to move to town. I was four. And so we moved into Terrell and I had my fifth birthday there. And uh, my daddy worked at a grocery store. But then he decided that town life wasn't for him. So then we moved to the Cobb Switch community, which was 10 miles east of Terrell on Highway 80. And that was where I spent most of my time. When we moved there to Cobb Switch, we heard that the Neal family was going to be down to the grocery store down the road one night to play instruments. The, the, the older man, Mr. Henry Neal, he fiddled and his wife second on the mandolin. So anyway, we went down there to hear them play. And Ermadine and I, Charleston, did the Charleston. I don't know where I learned it or I, I, I didn't do a whole lot of it. But uh, the grocery store man gave us a nickel a piece. For, and uh, so that was my first, you know, introduction to, the, to fame. It was still just a little community. And at that time, there were two grocery stores. But then when I was eight, my daddy opened a grocery store that, uh, until my daddy died when I was 16. So my mother and I continued to run the store for a while, but we decided we couldn't do it. And there in the community, the school went through the ninth grade. And uh, so we, uh, when you finished there, well, you went into Wills Point to school. And uh, so I went two years then into Wills Point to school, graduated from Wills Point in 1936. Then, you know, I got smart. You're never as smart as you are when you're 17. So that was when that I married Felix Hargrove. On June the 18th, 1937, 67, 77, 87, well, actually 62 years before he passed away. I had dated Felix for three years. We had been friends in school. And uh, so I more or less had kind of grew up in the Hargrove family. And uh, so uh, it, again, it was, they were farmers. And of course, me being a farmer myself, I knew how to work. I don't know that, that I ever struggled. When we married, I don't guess we even had a nickel. We never seemed to need, want. Well, I wasn't one to want any, any time. I made with what I had. I didn't run and buy things just because somebody else had it. Or, um, uh, and I, um, I enjoyed my home. I've always enjoyed my health. I don't know. Uh, um, I always say that uh, uh, good eating and good living. I, I enjoy everything I have. It's plain, but it's mine. It's paid for. And I enjoy being a mother and an aunt. I can fit in most, most any place. And, um, and anybody's family, they're all my families, my friends. I, I just 
consider myself one of them, and, and they let me. So uh, I enjoy my friends. And of course, by now, most of them are gone. And, uh, but I have some young friends that I love and respect and that come and have fun with me. I don't know that I've accomplished much. I've made a lot of friends, and I've always said that everybody was my friend till I found out different. Just my mouth is my biggest enemy because I sort of speak what I, what I want to. I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I'm pretty well spoken. Then I have seven great-grandchildren and two great-great-grandchildren. So they multiply. And then Jerry has two girls, and uh, we enjoy them. They're Sean and Shannon, and uh, we've always loved them. And then my sister Ruby uh, had one child, and that's Debbie of Foxford, and he has two. So, uh, and then my brother, he was more productive and he had six children. So uh, all these kids have been just like mine. I sort of grew up with them or they grew up with me. Or, and uh, so I've always enjoyed my nieces, nephews, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. I have fun, whatever I do, I enjoy it. So thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Happy 100th birthday to Miss Faye Hargrove, even though she's not into the flashy stuff. It's just another birthday, you know, but then I realized, well, maybe it's not just another birthday. <laughs> Hey, it's Jason from 99.5 The Wolf, and the three of us have been plotting and planning for Faye Hargrove's 102nd birthday. Faye, anything you want to say before we uh, go up, up, and away here? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm just ready to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Jason Pullman and Faye Hargrove, live from the hot air balloon over DFW. I want to make a toast to you, Faye, on your 102nd birthday. Down the hatch. All right, here we go, here down we go. the hatch, y'all. Today was our friend Faye Hargrove's 103rd birthday in Mesquite. Of course, if you remember, uh, last year at this time, took her up in a hot air balloon ride. This year, she wanted to do something just a little more low-key, just the two of us. I say when you're 103, you should celebrate all year long. Well, I, I, I think I do anyway. You just celebrate life and you love life so much. That. You're so inspiring to so many people, but that's really what you attribute your long life. That's a big part of it, don't you think, is attitude. Well, I guess that's a good answer for it. Uh, you know, uh, this is two years, so we we'll look forward to the next year, you know, on, on my birthday. Absolutely. 104 next year, Faye. <laughs> Hi. How you feeling? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I'm, I'm, that doesn't I'm, sound very convincing. I'm, I'm, I'm lying, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Faye, I just want, I just want to let you know um, how much you mean to me and so many other people, not only in Texas, but, but all over the world. You've touched a, a lot of people's lives and uh, in all of our hearts. Love you, Faye. Love you. Bye-bye.